This is the LT8030 DMX512 decoder. Uh, takes any RGB and takes it into uh, DMX so that you're able to use a DMX controller. Uh, right now I've got ColorFlex, small sample of ColorFlex. Uh, it'll actually run 216 watts of it, which is 98 feet. Uh, so you just plug this in, hook all your wires together, plug that in, and we'll, I'll show you DMX first. So we're going to set it to channel 1, which is just dip switch 1 on position. And then you can uh, adjust your sliders for the effect that you want. And then use the DMX controller to uh, make your scenes and what you're trying to do with the roadblock. The second thing that it does is you don't have to use DMX with it. You can use it as a simple controller, which will allow you to do dimming effects on the three channels, which is red, green, and blue. Uh, one through three does red. There's brightest red, medium red, and the as low as dim, dimmable it goes. Uh, same thing for the green, brightest green, medium green, light green. If you wanted to do a little bit of red and a lot of a little little bit of green, you can do that. You can add some blue to it to get a specific color. If you do the, it also has a fun dip switch. Put that dip switch on and you can do static colors or you can do uh, red, green, blue, yellow. You can even do a jumping or a gradual change effect, as you can see, which is number eight. Uh, along with that, if you put one down, you can speed it up. As long as you have the fun button down and you use 8 and 9, you can use 1 through 7 to change the speed at which it uh, changes or fades. And it's pretty easy. It's basically it. It's 24 volts at 216 watts, 12 volts at 108 watts, and it'll also do 5 volts at 45 watts. Uh, it's small and compact. Uh, good when you don't have a lot of uh, space and thank you